I am going to show you how to get 8,000 active followers on Instagram within a month, literally. I'm not guaranteeing you anything. I'm not saying this is going to happen in two weeks, three weeks. Look, I'm not guaranteeing you anything. What I am guaranteeing you is that you're going to get massive value out of this video just by tuning in right now. on my Facebook go ahead to my YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe to my channel because majority of my videos will be on YouTube add me on Facebook I also have a I actually have a fan page as well that you can go look me up on it's called Nini the Idealist I think I'll go to that page later but anyway it's about Instagram so with that being said this is my Instagram account right here and these are 8,000 active followers right now I'm at 8,230 followers these are active followers okay now you're saying like well how are they active I have my Instagram account set up to where I know who's active I know who's not active and I know who really is my true fans okay so stick to the end of this video and I'm gonna share with you the tools that I've used also a few tricks and things that I actually do to get these active followers so and I noticed a pattern about my followers and, and and people who follow me so as you can see I got like 413 um, views on here some of y'all may be like oh that's not a lot but it's a lot because these people are active and look 10 comments I mean I have my quotes and people are actually saving these now I'm on my laptop right now um, I am going to go on to my phone eventually here and actually still share my screen on my phone like phone recording and actually show you some things okay so right now I just want to go over a few things before you start following people before you start doing anything that I show you let me literally do this disclaimer okay Instagram is not paying me to show you this video or record this video for you okay I'm not getting paid from Facebook either okay to show you this I'm doing this out the kindness of my heart to show you exactly how I do these things okay I knew that I can dominate a space and this right here has been working so well for me that I've received actual clients from my Instagram profile like no joke okay so let's get into it so the first thing you want to do I took some notes right here so that y'all can see this so yeah how to grow your Instagram account to up to 8,000 active followers okay so even if you're just starting off and you get a thousand active followers meaning okay active followers meaning people who actually like comment and view your content so let's go back to my page real quick so for example um let me see Let, let's see something okay let, let's go let's go to this one right here this first one okay so this is a quote picture that I created with my brand on there it's branded that you know and look I have up to a hundred and something likes on here okay but I got people who was active on here I got people who's commenting and I got people who's liking this like you know what I'm saying so you want people who are like that who's active who going to comment on there okay who's going to do this I can show you another post too all my posts at least have one or two or more people commenting on here and liking it you know even my videos see even my videos this is a video right here I can just click the play button they'll play this is even my videos and I have 414 views on here and and it's growing too and I got people commenting on here and I'm of course I'm interacting with them and liking them because I want them to know that yo I seen this you know so y'all want them type of people so when I say active followers I mean literally active followers not no bland shit okay not no bland comment talking about hey your page is awesome yo check out mine no none of that okay that's all software stuff you can automate yourself, of course. I'm not saying there ain't nothing wrong with that, but when you have organic followers, it's so much better than uh, it's so much better than the softwares in my take because um, I, you know, you can still use the softwares to build it because I tested out some softwares and I noticed a lot have changed when I was versus doing organic. Okay, when I did the the softwares for the first time, yeah, I was getting a couple followers here and there. I was getting some you know views and stuff like that but I was getting fake comments like bot comments of people 
who were like, hey, you know, hey, your your post is awesome, bet. Da, 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 da. Like it was just so bland, and I noticed once I, once I stopped using the softwares, that literally my whole engagement stuff took a whole new turn and everything. So if you're gonna use a software, you better have some money to spend every month to keep your Instagram built. When it's built off of organic, it's gonna always stay built. You're not gonna need to pay anything, literally, you know. And if you do pay anything, probably like twenty bucks. You know, so you better have some some a budget if you're going to do automation. So the first things first on this list is in order to get these active followers and attract them, you need to have a converting bio. OK, meaning you have to have an attractive enough bio for people to follow you and also have your page on public. If you're a business or entrepreneur type person and if you're a private person, you're just personal, you, you can, you know, keep it on public. I mean, not public, but you can keep it on private. Because I've actually had um, times where I put my page on private and, you know, I got some followers or whatever. But I had to approve those people following me. Whereas when I got it public, when people followed me, I knew they wanted to follow me because of my page. So when it's public, when you have your page on public, guess what? And people follow you and comment on there, that means they really mess with your uh, content. That means they really fuck with it, like for real. They really fuck with your content. They, they fuck with me. And this is my personal page. And I still promote my brand on here. I don't be like, yo, yo, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. No. I'm literally indirectly doing it because check this out. I'm wearing my brand. I, I'm sharing my graphic designs right here. Look, I'm sharing what I do already. I'm making it personal. I'm sharing my quotes and, and things that, that inspire me to write stuff like that. You know, I'm sharing everything, me personally, and it's personal. Even when I share my works like this of my clients and stuff like that, they still interact with this. Like, see, they still interact. And this video is almost at a thousand views organically. No software is used to get this. And even this. So I still get people active, you know, who actually like my stuff. So you want to have your bio set up to where it's like it's they basically your bio is selling them already on your profile it's already telling them hey look this is who i am this is what i do okay check me out if you like me follow me if you hate me follow me you know interact with my stuff don't i uh, give a call to action i let them know what i do and who i am entrepreneur author brand ambassador to my the brands that i am part owner of and that i own i'm a owner of only legends okay um i have over a hundred um, thousand YouTube views okay so I'm letting them know yo I got a YouTube channel that you can check out and look check out my new video I put a link in there I'm letting them know that I have a video so you want to do the same thing okay you wanna if you're a business owner you're you're an entrepreneur you wants to do this right here you want to let them know what you represent who you are and if you have a website add it right there if you have a video you want them to look at add it right there okay so that's that's key your bio must be lit also right here your photo must be very attractive I put myself right here in my own gear and people are liking it. it's very professional you could put anything right here low-key but in my take I always put a professional type of photo right here you can hire your photographer you can take your own photos that's what I've done before in the past and then I started um, investing in people I started investing in people who do these type of things who have a passion for photos you know to so shooting photos and videos you know, I could do it all day by myself, but, you know, teamwork make the dream work. So I did that. And also these highlights are so, man, these highlights tell a lot about you even too. So with the highlights, you can actually show more of what you do. You can show behind the scenes footage or, you know, anything that you do. I've seen where people take these icon photos right here and spell their names out. Um, I think I've seen it before, but I'm not actually going to go. Let me see. Uh, I think my business partner did it on his so I'm gonna go to his page right now let me see if he did it on his um, I, I believe he did it on his you know um, and yep that's what he did see look at this his his highlights are consistent look at his icons they're very very consistent shouts out to Ray D you already know you know what I'm saying? And look at his page. It's all it's all professional. He got his professional videos. He got quality photos on here. Like he's sharing a lifestyle. He's sharing, you know, his brand and what he does. And as somebody that has like a personal page, like me and his, you want to do the exact same thing. Look, he even put his own link in here. Hey, check me out. You know, um, he's an artist. 
and everything. He, he's sharing what he does, you know, um, and these highlight icons are very consistent, whereas mine is consistent in a way, too. Um, so that's the thing. So and this right here, this is like the name part of Instagram. You have your username right here and then you have your name. I use this as a way to attract more people. So look, I say graphic designer. So anybody who searched graphic designer up in this search box, they're more likely going to find me or anybody else. If I put entrepreneur in my bio, look, I even hashtag it. This is a hashtag, okay? As you can see right here in the lower right corner of the screen, you're going to see www.instagram.com backslash explore slash tags slash entrepreneur. It's in, the, it's in the lower left side of your screen, okay? So you can add hashtags in your bio if you see that I've done the same thing. You can tag any other thing that you do, who you... Um, who you manage, or if you're a brand ambassador to another brand, you can add their names right here. And people who look up these these names, they're gonna find your page. So I added graphic designer. So let me see, graphic designer. I probably will, <laughs> and I probably won't. But either way, I might show up. Um, see, look, when I type in graphic design, look at these other users. Look, graphic designer, logo plus graphic designer, graphic designer. Graphic designer, look, web and graphic designer. So you can literally use this name part and add what you do. You can say entrepreneur, lifestyle consultant, fitness trainer. You can even do, um, you know, um, an influence, social media influence right here, or social influencer, or just put influencer. You know, um, I even put my 10K goal right here. I was like, yo, 10K, like, you know, help me reach 10K type stuff. Um, you're just an entrepreneur. Okay, what else do you fucking do? <laughs> you know, so when I put these things in my bio, that lets them know what type of content they're going to get on my page. You get what I'm saying? They know they're going to get something personal of me, and they know that I'm going to have videos, YouTube, hello, videos, and things of what's consistent in this bio. It says graphic designer, so they're expecting to see graphic designs on my page. So whatever you put in here, make sure you actually post it on your page. Okay, so the next thing is having quality content. You know, an example, you can have something inspiring like quotes or you, and you, or you can literally get on a video and talk to them, um, you know, having an inspiring post. Or you can be entertaining, have posting memes and funny things on there, you know, of, of that nature. So let me give you all some examples of how you can do this. So, for example, I'm back on my page. Okay, um, I have inspiring quotes and stuff like that. I have quotes that I, I've created, you know, um, and and things that I've added twists into. Like I've seen this somewhere and it said something about stomach wants tacos. I was like, no, I want seafood. So I posted this and people are already engaging with it. You know, um, I had a video where I was lip singing the song and people are loving it. You know, um, and just me just right here stunting in this video and again people are watching this you know um these quotes people love these quotes like right here i had a thought and and i was like yo you know i thought about it i was like you know the hardest thing for someone in life is to fake their demons sober you know because a lot of people are using drugs and everything you know and just just to cope with their demons or keep them under control as you would say um so Let's take this, for example, as a, a nice, rich content, you know, quality content. So here, you know, I got my brand logo and everything, you know, my IG name. So people can follow me when they reshare this to somebody. They'll be like, oh, where well, you found that at? And that's why my page is public. So when they share my content, they can actually see it. Because if this page was private, they couldn't be able to see this in their inbox or anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So um, I left my page public so they can actually share my content. This is one way you can get more people to actually come in your inbox. Now, on my phone here, in a little while, I'm actually going to go to uh, another video on my phone so you can see my statistics on people really interacting with this photo, okay? So also, as you can see right here on the side of my caption, you know, I have my own little template right here that I use all the time. I don't use a lot of hashtags. In the beginning I did, I used to do like 30 hashtags and 40 hashtags. But once Instagram, they, you know, switched their algorithm up 
some of these hashtags don't even work like that. Like, they don't consistently work. I'm only telling you this because Instagram, when they see you consistently use these same hashtags over and over and over and over and over again, they literally ghost block you, meaning you won't get a lot of traffic from these. Now, certain hashtags that are, like, acceptable are explore and explore page, you know, and I've used those and got people from the explore page actually looking at my things, you know, my content. And also, since this is such a good quote and such a good statement, people, again, are actually commenting on this photo right here. Look at this. And then I'm interacting with them, too, letting them know, hey, look, yeah, I, you know, I agree with this. You know, yada, yada, yada. And look at this. People love it when you interact with them on your photos. Like, so when they comment, some of them are expecting you to comment back. And some of them are thinking, like, maybe you won't comment back. You know, you're too Hollywood for that. But if you go in and start commenting, uh, replying to these people's comments, they're going to really interact with you more and more because you're building that relationship up with them. So interact with your fans and your new followers, you know. Um, let me see. Here's another one. This video right here. Check this video. Okay, so this is a video. I don't know if y'all going to be able to hear this. Alright, so y'all seen that video. I don't know if you can hear the video. If you can, cool. If you, if you can't, just go follow me on Nini the Idealist on Instagram and you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> so anyways, again, this is a video. It's like over 400 people, um, you know, watching this video. But it's a lot of likes too. So, for example, I can click on, you see where it says 414 views? I can click on this right now and I can see how many likes I have. 153 likes. Literally 153 likes, okay? A lot of y'all is like, okay, that, that's some good likes. Some of y'all are probably saying, no, that's not a likes. If you really think about it, 153 people organically like this. No bots. And as you can see, my comments are not bots. These are people who are active. Look, this person tagged me in here. You know, shouts out to that follower. You already know. Um, you know, um, my, like people are actually engaging on this. Then I had somebody come in and was like, hey, you know, I have a YouTube channel, yada, 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 check me out. You know, I didn't block them or anything because guess what? I can go to their page and, you know, network with them, you know, and interact with them and, you know, offer my services. You know, I also um, added and tagged Young and May because it's her voice in here. So I was like, okay, bet, maybe she'll like it. But because you don't know, like, celebrities will like your posts, especially if you got some of their content mixed with your content. You know, for example, y'all might not believe this, but yes, it's actually true. Um, if I can't show it on my desktop on Instagram, I can show it on my phone here in a few. I'll actually show a video um, later on. And so this is Romeo. Yes, little Romeo, Romeo Miller. Um, I was at one of his events. You know, he actually told us to come and pop up. And so that's what we did. <laughs> we came and pop up. And so I tagged him in this photo. You know, a lot of people like this. So check this out. I clicked on my likes. Check this out. Y'all see me clicked on my likes. Okay, I clicked on my likes. And check this out. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. We're going to see if Romeo liked this photo. Actually, this is a lot of likes. <laughs> We're going to see if Romeo liked this photo. Okay, so let me let this load up real quick. I had to get on my phone because this was lagging. The, the computer was lagging <laughs> because it's a lot of followers on there. But I'm still going to show you exactly that Romeo did follow this post. So I'm here right now on my phone and I'm actually on my actual page. This is my page. You see me right there. You see, you know, my bio and everything. So let me go back to that same picture I showed you. So here's the same picture. This is me, Romeo and my sister and let me go to my likes clicked on my likes and watch you're gonna see where Romeo like this actual photo because he's in it and I tagged him in it so you're gonna see and yes it's a lot of people like I said that's a, that's a lot of people you know y'all may not think like oh 272 people is a lot but it is a lot like I even got other people who have blue checks are liking it you know and you're going to see Romeo. And 
then there we have it, Romeo Miller, official Romeo Miller. To know that he, this is real, let me click on his page. Romeo Miller, here he goes right here, 161 million. Let me follow him. Although he's not following me back, I'm still going to follow his ass. <laughs> and go back. See, Romeo Miller, he actually liked this photo, and guess what? It's on this photo. He's actually tagged in this photo, too. You see his name. So this is literally real, guys. Like I said, if you're taking pictures with celebrities, if you're using their content, you can seriously tag them in there, and they're actually going to like your stuff. Some of them don't. Some of them do. You may never know. You know what I'm saying? But when you get a message saying that they actually liked it, you're going to be like, oh, my God, like, you pay attention, meaning he's paying attention to my content. So if I tag him in here, you know, in any other content, he's going to look at it because he's tagged in there, okay? So. Okay, so here's the bread and butter, one of the bread and butter methods that I use, okay? It's called FAF, okay? I made this up. It's called Follow Active Followers. Notice it didn't say F4F because F4F means follow for followers, meaning you're following for followers. Like you're following somebody and you're following back and all that other good stuff. But on here, I'm following active people. I'm not just going to somebody's pages and going straight to their followers and adding them because I don't know if the majority of them are followers, I mean, are active or not. So how do you do this? You look at top influencer pages. You know, in your niche, doesn't matter what niche it is, you look at their comments, their likes, and their views, and you start following uh, those people because they're active. So I'm going to give y'all a live example right now. So here's my Instagram page, and I'm actually at well over 8,000 active followers, and about 20% of that are people who are really, like, going on my page and, you know, sharing my, um, my content, liking it, viewing it, you know. So, um, th that's what they're doing. And these are active people. I, I get comments. I even get shares, you know, um, probably a, a little while in this video, you know, I'm going to show actual footage on my phone of people actually sharing my stuff, you know, um, probably screenshots. I'll probably place a screenshot right here where I'll show a screenshot of somebody actually saving my content, sharing it, sending it to people, you know, or whatnot. But let's get into this. So you want to find an, um, you want to find a top influencer in your niche. As you can well see, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm in the LGBT community, of course, you know, lesbian, gay, bisexual, all that stuff, <laughs> you know. So um, I can look in the entrepreneur field, or and I can also look into the LGBT community. And so I'm going to give you a prime example. So I'm on this page, Damo Wilson. She's a public figure, a YouTube sensation. She blew up off of YouTube and off of social media. Some of you might know her, some of you might not. You know, go look her up. You know, so I'm on her page. 1.7 million followers. Okay, now I don't even know if all of these are active. You know, so I wouldn't click on this and, you know, follow them. What I would do is go on her page and look at her content and find a rich content. Um, now that I'm on her content, I'm going to choose at least a random photo. Uh, for example, like this one, she has 276 hundred thousand likes on here. So I'm going to click on that, and you notice she got 5,000 comments as well, too. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I mean, I can look through the comments and stuff all day, but I'm going to go right here where it says liked. You see those liked 276 hundred thousand followers? These are people who are active, who are actively commenting and liking her content. So I'm going to go here. And click that number and check this out these are all the people that liked it as you can well see I'm not following any of these people so what I would do is I'm gonna just go down the list and click follow 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 I'm just following everybody now Instagram does have a limit I'm not gonna lie I go hard I do this until Instagram tell me I can't do it anymore I have to wait 24 hours you know their limit is you can only like over um, you can like a thousand times, literally one thousand times. Well, not like one thousand times. I mean, um, you can follow one thousand people a day. I've tried it. I've done it, and you'll know when they stop you because they'll do. They'll have a message pop up, and it says, "You know, we're gonna have to stop you real quick, and you're gonna have to wait for like twenty-four hours to forty-eight hours to follow more people again." 
you know so so your follows basically so your followers can catch up so I just go down here and I just like all her followers and this is literally 276,000 people I'm not even following half these people not even all of them and so these are people who like her content you know um, she's bisexual now she's to be like full-blown lesbian but uh, she's her you know she's being herself and most of all these people like that type of content and I have similar content on mine and I have motivational quotes and you know stuff you know um, personal about me and all the other good stuff so I just go down here and follow these people now if you have any questions right now you can comment below this video and let me know uh, what your um, what do you have a problem with what are your concerns you know about doing this because you know some people may think this is like retarded it is time consuming a little bit but if you're on your phone it's very fast like I just go down and just click all this like follow 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 and literally within hours and minutes people literally come back and follow me and I see them visit my page you know um, I have other things um, like mobile apps that I actually use to help me keep statistic wise on how many followers are actually following me how many people that are not following me back like all of that good nature um, so I think I hit my limit because now it's not telling me that I'm following them so which is cool right now because uh, I have been doing this so and that's just it with this method all you got to do is just go on anybody page like I can even go to an entrepreneur page like Grant Cardone and do the same thing you know go to Grant, uh, Grant Cardone's page because you know he's a well-known entrepreneur you know he's a sales specialist like yo this dude is a beast you know 10x look even him he got 1.4 million followers but I'm going to his content because his content is very rich and people love it, you know, and it's very personal and business all at the same time. So look, 144,000, you got 41,000 um, likes and views on here. And, you know, uh, even the photos, look, 8,000 likes on here. Like I can go here and follow some entrepreneurs. Like I can go here and follow some entrepreneurs. Like, you know what I'm saying? So check this out, like I can click on here and still like just follow these people. Like, you know, let, let's see if let's see if Instagram is gonna allow me to follow these. Okay. I think I think it's gonna let me follow them. You may not see it happen, but I'm probably gonna go on my phone and do this. So here we are back on Grant Cardone's um, page. I'm actually on my mobile device on my cell phone and I'm on the app right now. So like I said, I can go here and like all of his you know um, followers on here that are active like I said go to the videos click on the views click on the likes and just start following people you know so um, I'm gonna go to this photo right here that says discipline is what makes you dangerous and that is actually true so as you can see he got 35,000 followers I'm gonna click on that and check this out I'm actually gonna follow these people Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that. So yeah, I'm actually gonna follow these people. So look, it's all you gotta do. It is very, very, very simple. This is literally all you really have to do. Some of you people may be like, "Yo, I can't do this all day," but there's softwares and stuff like that. You know, um, I actually share some of the softwares that I do use that does go on certain people pages for me and that does actually follow the active followers for me um, but if you want that information you can contact me below you can click the link below in the description box of this video and you know I hold one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and I actually reveal literally from the T everything from the T from point A to point B all in super advanced and basic details on how to actually do this very strategically I'm just showing you right now one method that I actually do that works, you know, and these are active followers. You can go to his other content and see the same people comment and like on his stuff. Like, look at this right here. This is an actual video right here. And some of the same people literally, I'm going to go to the views. And look, like I said, some of the same people just like this. Look, I'm following half the people that just like this. I followed them on the other uh, photo. So, definitely, definitely do this. It's called F-A-F, -F, follow active followers, okay?